If you like my video, please click on the like button and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And the last one is ozone layer depletion. Ozone layer is available on the stratosphere which is helping us to prevent from the very dangerous UV rays, rays from coming from the sun. So the decrease in the concentration of ozone in stratosphere is known as ozone layer depletion. And the main uh, thing, main gases which is responsible for the ozone layer depletion is chlorofluorocarbon. So what is chlorofluorocarbon? It is a material which is used as a coolant in the compressors of the refrigerators and air conditioner. It is also used to clean the electronic circuit boards used in computers, telephones, etc. It is also used in manufacturing of the foams for the mattresses and cushions, disposable styrofoams, cups, packaging materials and cold storage etc. So what is ozone hole? The thinning of the ozone layer or reduction in the concentration of the ozone especially over the area of Antarctic continent is known as the ozone hole which covers approximately 7 million square kilometers of this hole. And what are the basic, basic mechanism of the ozone layer depletion? First of all formation of ozone. Oxygen in presence of UV light gets converted into reactive oxygen which reacts again with the oxygen forming O3 which is ozone. Similarly uh, CFC breaks into UV light and produces a reactive chlorine. This reactive chlorine reacts with the reactive oxygen forming ClO. This ClO can form a dimer. This dimer when breaks down it produces chlorine and oxygen. So chlorine is converting reactive oxygen again back into oxygen and not allowing to form ozone. So this is the mechanism of formation of ozone depletion layer. So what are the effect of ozone layer deflation? It damages the land, damages to land and plant and other lives. It also decreases the aquatic community. It decreases the population of aquatic community. It increases the rate of skin diseases and cancers in human beings. Because of the UV radiation, there are more chances of skin diseases. Disturbs the climate pattern. Also, it corrodes the materials. So how can we control this? First of all, reduce the uses of CFC. Avoid evolving of substituents of CFC and we can use instead of CFC we can use hydrochlorofluorocarbon which is eco-friendly coolant. So these are some of the alternatives for CFC.